Hey friends, welcome. We're going to be using some new makeup today. We're going to be trying out the pre-summer collection from Suku and also some new items from Lisa Eldridge. So let's start. Let me show you what I got from Lisa Eldridge. I got her new Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint and I got some of her new pencils, just three shades. With the purchase, I got a cute makeup bag. And from Suku, we're going to be trying some new, the new eyeshadow quads, two of them. A couple of lipsticks and the eye pencil or the eyeshadow stick which I might not be using in this video but I'll still I'm still gonna swatch it and show you so let's start with this the tint this is shade t3 I only got one shade hopefully it will be a good match I love everything anything that looks natural and just not heavy on my skin I love that so I'm really excited about this it is described as uh, an enhancing tint and that's all it says on the packaging I haven't seen her videos talking about the product so or anybody else um, reviewing this this tint so I'm gonna kind of using it or testing it uh, blindly because I haven't seen any other reviews so this is what it looks like kind of like an egg and is it one ounce like um, it's 12 months shelf life it's made in France and says to shake before use and it is one fluid ounce. So it just looks smaller, but it's still one fluid ounce. And how do you open this? Is it twisted? Yeah. And it's a drop droplet dropper. So let's do ooh, it's really like liquidy. Let's do six drops just in case, because I'm not sure. Um you can't really stand it. That's something I'm not liking. But I'll just cover it up just in case so it won't drip accidentally and close it as I apply it. So this is what it looks like. I'm a little bit runny, like I said. Ah, uh, there's no scent. Just smells like foundation, but there's no fragrance. And to apply it, I'm gonna use the refer number BO2, which is like that dense brush I like. And I think I'm gonna need more than, than six drops. But let's start with that. So six drops were enough for like my cheek area and my neck area down here just a little bit I'm definitely gonna need more I think it's safe to leave it open because at least for now while I'm applying it because it's not dripping I have to really squeeze it to get it out so I think I'm gonna leave it flat just for now okay here I have it on half of my face on this half it does even out my skin tone there is some a little bit of glowiness that I love. I love a foundation that gives me glow. It does feel very light and natural looking. It's not sticky, but it's actually almost almost non-existent. It doesn't hide my pores, but they, it doesn't accentuate my pores either. And on my nose, it looks pretty good. At first, it was a little bit like creasing in or um, going into my little fine lines but it got better so far so good i'm gonna do the other half and continue with my makeup and see at the end of my makeup look of the video how it looks maybe just um maybe it's mingles better with my skin and it looks better or m much better than it looks now now that it looks bad it looks great but i'm thinking it probably gets better with time there i have it all over it looks pretty good pretty good so far it feels great it's not cakey it's not heavy and it doesn't accentuate my imperfections my little my pores or my fine lines so far so good and the color i think it's great match the shape is a little bit weird but you could lay it flat there's like a flat surface on the side you could lay it flat as as you work with it it's fine it is different than other foundations i'm gonna move on with the concealer i'm gonna be using the laura mercier real flawless in the shade one and one this is not a new concealer to me but i have it here on my vanity and i really like it so that's why i kept it on my vanity my table so i'm just gonna apply like you know 
I normally do right here under my eyes. I've always had like dark circles around my eyes and lately since I've been battling with my anemia and all that I've noticed my dark circles are a little bit more accentuated <laughs> but I really like this concealer it's give me glow around my eye area it does increase all that good stuff anything everything and anything that I find in a concealer it's I find it in this concealer and I'm using the Nikki La Rose and BK Beauty brush and 16 which is fluffy and large enough to cover the area but small enough that I could go in into right here under my under eye and in my corner of the eye all right we're gonna be trying her pencils later on when I go into the lip area but we're going to go in with uh, Suku and the pre-summer collection came out with two new eyeshadows a few lipsticks two eyeshadow sticks I only picked up one and I did pick up both of the quads I'm gonna be using one today and then the other one in another video in the future and it's a signature color eyes I have 136 which is Iro Taban and 137 Hanamatomi and I don't know Japanese only like a couple of words so I apologize for my mispronunciation and this is the packaging the box that it comes in and I already got my fingerprints on but you probably are, if you're familiar with Suku you know how their packaging look is beautiful that mirror black with a gold trim I love their packaging I think it's so beautiful so luxe their makeup is made in Japan I'm gonna open both of them and show you both at the same time I'm unboxing them with you opening them with you I don't remember I know I ordered them online through the Suku the Selfridges counter but I don't remember exactly what they look like Ooh, I forgot I had ordered this one or I forgot the colors that shade like I said so here is number 136 Irotabane or Irotabane and then we have number 137 Hamatomi Hanamatomi <laughs> this is more like a purple pinkish palette and then this is more like a peachy pink quad so pretty I'm going to be using this one in the future I'm going to leave it for another time but I'm going to be using this one today because it's a color story that stands out to me right now and I think goes better with what I'm wearing and I'm just like an orangey coral kind of person so let's try this one first and I could swatch both of them and show you so here are the colors swatched Suku has one of the softest eyeshadow formulas that I have that I've known they're so beautiful look at that shimmer shimmery color it is gorgeous so now I have an idea how it looks on my skin tone and gives me an idea of how to use them on the eyelids I'm gonna be using the Isom V34 eyeshadow brush to apply all the shades on the lid or at least two of them I'm going to start with this peachy tone I think I'm gonna leave the pink I'm just gonna use these three and I'm gonna start with this peachy tone peachy I've never experienced fallout with super but just in case I always like to hit my brush a couple of times and as I usually do I'm just gonna go over the lid give it like a base see how soft they are I think I might use that pinkish tone on the bottom on the waterline but let's see okay so they're out of the base really softly and then I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shimmery shimmer I don't know what that is it's like a shimmery it's a second from your right this one right here it is so pretty I'm gonna see if it the eyeshadow the brush picks it up so I'm gonna get a little bit and go here on my outer half oh yeah it's gorgeous and I'm going to work on the crease and the outer half I think these colors are so pretty so summer and I know where we just started spring but this is the pre-summer collection I believe they're coming out with more items for the summer but for now this is what they have for the pre-summer collection I like how they launch things launch products little by little and I like the whole collection all at once it's easier on the wallet and also it gives you time to play around with the products and have fun no patchiness no fallout just perfect and I'm gonna just 
brush here at the edges to give it a clean look. Look how pretty that is. I would think with my finger I have more pickup, but I like how it's looking with just the brush. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm going to now I'm going to use my finger and go in with a shimmer and apply it in the inner half. Yes. It's gorgeous. And so pretty. Wouldn't you agree? Gorgeous. I'm going to go for the waterline. I'm going to pick up the this is the Nikki La Rose and Vicky Beauty N12. And I'm gonna go in with that pink that I didn't get to use and go in the waterline. It is soft, so it's perfect. But it is a shade lighter than the top, so just gives like a nice contrast. I'm gonna go ahead now and apply mascara. I'm gonna be using the Lisa Elrich mascara. It is relatively new. She came out with it not too long ago, but I have been using it a lot lately. I do love it. Such a gorgeous mascara. It lifts my lashes. It gives me volume and length. And they don't look like exaggerated or anything like that one, so I love it. All right, I'm gonna do blush, bronzer, and highlighter off camera because they're not new. I'm gonna be using Osuka. I'll show you what they are because I'm not sure they still have these shades available. This is uh, Natsuki 102. For highlight, I'm gonna be using this is um, Kageru 101. And for blush, I'm gonna be using Haruoto, one, uh, which is 02. If they are available by the time that I'm doing this video, I'm gonna put links of all of it down below, as I always do. But I'm gonna do those off camera and I'll be right back for the lips. Okay, so I'm back. Let's start with the pencils from Lisa Elridge. I got number 0N. 01L3 and 2C. These are the pencils. They're neutral colors. And I'm gonna give them a quick swatch in the back of my hand and tell you the names. They are pencils that you sharpen, which is nice. They aren't like glowy, they're matte. So I'm not gonna be using all three today. I'm gonna be using one, but at least we could test the formula. So from Top to bottom, I'll give you the shade names. We have one W, then we have two C, and then we have zero N, which is the one in the bottom. I'm going to see the lipstick from Suku, which one, what shades they are, and swatch them and see what lip pencil looks better with it. I picked up only two shades and just the refills because I do have cases for them. Shade 101 which is Ishirinka and 102 Sagizora. This is how they come. No cases and I'm going to use it like that for now. But just to give you an idea this is what their cases look like. This is like the matte one and this is the like that mirror black like the quads. So I thought since I have already so many cases, I have like four, just might as well get the refills. And let's give it a good swatch. They're so like glowy, glowy, glowy and beautiful. There's no scent. Like scent doesn't bother me, but I like to just let you guys know. The one on the top is 101 and the one on the bottom is 102. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how glowy they are. I'm leaning towards well, the top one is gorgeous, but because my eye is a little bit pinkish, I'm going to go in with the bottom one, but I am going to swatch the top one on my lips. So let's do it without the pencil and see so you guys can see what shade high looks. Here you have 101. Is it 101? Yeah, 101. It feels so good and it's a beautiful shade. Beautiful formula, feels so comfortable, so glowy, just gorgeous. I love the lipstick formulas. I'm gonna take it off so we could try the other one. This time I am gonna be using one of the lipsticks and I mean lip pencils and I'm leaning towards one W, which is the one on the top. I think it looks better. It's not exactly the same shade, which is fine because I like the eyeliner to be 
a little bit darker and once you start mixing it it'll kind of come together so let's try on the pencil and see how it applies let's start with the bottom it's really close to my lip color i am a little pale but it's very close it applies very nicely it, it's not dragging my lip it doesn't feel dry it feels great very comfortable and let's try now with the lipstick with 102 yeah it's very very similar i like it i personally like the other shade better to be honest but i like this shade better now for this eye look but they're both beautiful. Again, same formula. Feels really good. It's glossy, but it's not sticky. You see, it's not sticky. One to the other. It's just gorgeous, and I think it looks great with uh, eye colors. So I'm going to go back now and look at the foundation and see how it looks. Oh, before I do that, I do want to show you the eyeshadow stick, which I'm not going to use today, and you'll see why. The color of the shade is 102, the Bloom Eye Stick. I think it's so nice for summer, but I will use it by itself because it is like a minty neon green, which doesn't go with this eye look, but I think it's so fun and eclectic and just different, something out of my comfort zone. And I do want to try it and some other time. I think it's just fun, something that I wouldn't normally wear, but I will definitely try, but on its own. with. Maybe all over the lid and like a black eyeliner. I think it will look nice. Just in some mascara and like a really soft lipstick. I think it will look really good for the season. But going back to what I have now currently on my skin. Especially the foundation which is something that I'm always concerned about. I think it looks great. Is it something out of the ordinary, out of this world? Like it wows me? Not really. I could probably find other foundations that work the same. But... I think it is beautiful. It feels really really light. I didn't have to apply any powder or set it. it. It's not sticky. It feels comfortable. It looks natural. feels natural. It doesn't accentuate my pores, my fine lines. Um, it's not excessively glowy. Maybe if I mix it with her other products, I'll have to see how that works with like her highlighter and all that. I'll see how that works. But that's for another video, another day. But overall, um, I think it looks really great. And the eyeshadows are just beautiful. As always, the Suku eyeshadows are one of my favorites. They're so soft and beautiful. And the lipsticks are great. The pencils worked really well. Everything's beautiful. What would you guys say about this look and the products I've used today? Did you pick up anything from the Suku pre-summer collection or the new Lisa Eldridge products, let me know down below. And if you are interested and you wanna try it yourself, I'ma again, leave links of everything down below in the description box for you guys to check it out. I wanna know your questions, your comments, anything you wanna tell me, just leave it down below in the comments. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and I'm enjoying this look and I'm gonna enjoy it for the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time. Bye!